viewers, you are welcome to BMK Media Production Studio, presenting you with our beautiful program, Humble Beginning. I remain Ben Miller's your chief host. The last episode and the previous have been very wonderful. We want to say thanks to all our viewers, all our audience, and the commentators. We are aware of our pitfalls and we take them in good faith as we are moving from strength to strength. Thank you for this wonderful prayers and support. Why not join me as we go on to welcome our guest? And in case you have not subscribed, please click on the red button that is showing below so that you will not be left out. Every rose has its thorns. Just as every good situation happens with adversity in life. And to be successful in any business venture as an entrepreneur would demand more than just starting up new ventures every day, only to expect huge amount of gains overnight. This is a platform, humble beginning. We are to look at performance and achievement in any work of life to present to our viewers successful business entrepreneurs across the globe with strong assertive who are sensitive to guide those living in the ghettos and among others who are disconnected socially, economically, politically, educationally and psychologically. Wow, this house is getting fuller, full and fuller every time. You want to know why? Like I said on the last episode, we have a lot of things to demonstrate because each program, each performer, each achiever, you are going to find out. Why don't you join me as we all put hands together for another wonderful guest? He is a fireball. He is a performer. Put your hands together as we welcome the guests. Put your hands together. So please keep on until he gets seated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. This program is awesome because I keep telling our guests there is something very unique about this program and my guests. All my guests are full of smiles. Do you know why? Do you know what is behind that? You are going to find out with the guest we have at the moment. He is beaming with smile. I cannot stop until I see that smile all over the face. <laughs> Welcome, sir. <laughs> this is BMK Media, sir. Thank you, DMK. My name is uh, Uchen Alibe. I work for Media Monitoring Services, Nigeria Limited. I've been here for the past 25 years, so I run the show here. Yeah? Uh, it's my pleasure to have you. Uh, if anyone will just ask, people are itching to know. You started this, you run this for about 25 years. In fact, how did you begin this? And at what point did you get this business started? Like I said, it's... Um, a marketing inclined business and therefore some experience must come behind it. I worked somewhere else in a very big um, marketing company, a conglomerate, multinational, and I cut my teeth in marketing there, living as a marketing manager. But while I was working, I saw this opening that even on the job, we needed some information that was necessary for us to manage properly. Manage the advertising, the promotion of our brands to our clients. So, I sat back with some other people who have gone through the meals and also knew that there was a niche to clog, to get into there. And we decided to start this business of organizing marketing information, specifically advertising information, packaging it, analyzing it for practitioners on the field.
to do better on their brands. That's what uh, we've been doing. I mean, what that says is that for everything you start, for everybody who starts a business, particularly if it is something brand new, don't think that the next person knows exactly what you are offering. You must sell it. You must open yourself up to them. You must show them what value you are bringing on board for them to come on board with you. Otherwise, you'll be on your own. And then suddenly you say, it has failed because the business is not good. No, it failed because you have not handled that business the way it should be handled. Most businesses don't fail if they're properly handled. That's uh, what I'd say. Apart from uh, all the uh, things you listed, the challenges, uh, are there other, other areas you have challenges, maybe from the government uh, or the, 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 the society, from the societal uh, areas? No, you know, the thing is, um, everything about media, like you know, hinges first of all on certain facilities that must be there. You can't watch your television unless you have electricity. Yes. These days, even radios that carry batteries, you rarely remember to buy batteries into them. They run on electricity. And so if you don't have it, you can't go anywhere. And you'll find that that is one of the scarcest commodities in this country. And so you must provide for yourself wherever you are. And in providing yourself, you face all sorts of problems. Is it the cost of diesel or petrol, whichever one you are using? Is it the pollution you are going to be bringing on your neighbors? The neighborhood and they complain and you start looking for how to ensure that you don't become a nuisance in your business. Is it the noise and so on? So there is so much along that line. Then secondly, businesses face a whole lot of problems. We start small. We are not multinationals that come in here with billions of um, dollars or pounds to start a business. You start by little steps. And then suddenly, as you are opening up your door, government is coming. Oh, you have to pay this tax. In fact, at some point, they came to me and said, since you are uh, uh, employing up to eight people, you must provide housing for them. And I asked the man, are you sure the man who is running it even has a house? Yes. But these things are there. Oh, they tell you it's statutory, it's there, the, it's a revolution. And so you find that even before you start, the system shuts you down. Unless you have a way of explaining yourself out or managing out of it. And so you find Nigeria running around here now saying we must do something about the SME because they are employers of labor. Because that is truth. SMEs are employers of labor. Even those that are on high uh, technology still employ more people than the bigger companies that are on technology. Some of them are now going into running their businesses on robots. Robots are not paid, they are not human beings, they have no families. Okay, so that is the problem we have as very little businesses. And once it is stifled like that, and you are managing every cost you have, you may not have the best the most skilled staff that you want to have, even when you have them, you are unlikely to be able to pay them what the others are paying them, and therefore you are losing them as if you are committing sin in-house. You don't have other facilities to move you above the level you would really want to move above. And meanwhile, your clients are expecting that you run as if you are in developed countries. Oh, sorry, with technology, you just touch the button and everything comes. Where are you going to get this button from? From an SME? Difficult. Those are some of the problems you have, but in spite of that, you find some of them managing to exist. And that's why I said, we've existed here for 25 years. We've been running this business for 25 years. If we had the real environment for operation, if we had the clement uh, uh, responsibility from the government, 
we would be listing ourselves among top-notch uh, com companies, companies, not just in Nigeria here, but in Africa. That's the Please put your hands Let me not call them mentors, but let, let's call them those who encouraged you to succeed in a way. I say those who encouraged you to succeed because I am here, I've been here, but I wasn't here alone. I came on with certain persons, okay? And I recognize at the beginning some two persons, one of them is, uh, is late now, one, uh, Mr. I.S. Mwemeka, who was the chairman of Linta's Advertising. In fact, they used to call him Mr. Advertising because he was the first number one figure in advertising in this country. And when the expatriates were handing over advertising for, for that company, which was the first in Nigeria, it was handed over to him and he had most of the brands to manage until others most others grew up from him he was the main encourager of this business but there's also some other person who was my predecessor uh, he's now a professor in a Lagos business school professor chris obeche this whole idea we shaped it up together in fact while i was still in there he had left he was doing the leg, leg work to get it going. As soon as the company was registered and we were ready to start, I pulled up into it and therefore started the, the operation myself. And over time, of course, he's been a man of ideas. We went through this, uh, virtually the same level of marketing training, but he's gone far beyond that. He's gone into academics. Like I said, he is the dean of the Lagos Business School today. And it's nothing mean to be there. You have to be a man of stuff, ideas. And therefore, when he comes in, when we are holding a board meeting and so on, every word he threw on the ground was like, this is the way to go. So these are people who encourage you, and then you have to be who you are to be able to uh, do things on ground. So that's uh, what we can say. Thank you, sir. Can we, can, please, can we take a little break? And when we come back, we continue. We've been on, if you're joining us for the first time, we've been on talking with uh, the CEO of uh, Media Monitoring Services Nigeria Limited in person of uh, Mr. Uchina Adigo. Join me as we will come back to this segment. Put your hands together. And uh, this segment, sir, we have a music video shot by BMK Media Production titled uh, Don't Despise Your Days of Little Beginning, of course. So you kindly help us to listen to the music and evaluate on what you see, sir.
hands together, put your hands together. Thank you. You are welcome back. So, <laughs> uh, you watch that music video and uh, kindly evaluate and tell us what you saw. Well, I looked through it. A little confusing. Um, many scenes there, but I could pick up one, two things there. First of all, I saw some diligence somewhere diligence. in the in the um, campetry workshop. You know, between two people, um, one concentrating on the job and the other one uh, looking like needed to be specially cautioned and put online. Okay, and. Um, even when it was difficult, when one of them uh, took the beating in terms of uh, being hot, when he was trying to nail up uh, uh, some wood, he endured it, he went through it, yes. which is saying that you don't begin to know how to ride a bicycle unless you fall a few times <laughs> on it, which is interesting. I saw somebody else who again showed some level of integrity, honesty, integrity, and um, he picked up something on the road. It was like money. Anybody would have put it in his pocket, but yes. he tried to locate yes. the owner. Yes. And what he said, uh, you know, that those things come into your life, your life. ordinary <laughs> life, business life. If you don't have integrity, you cannot make customers. You can only have somebody who buys once <laughs> and then disappears. You will forever be looking for who will buy. But if you are known for integrity, if you are known for that which is positive, one who came yesterday will trace you and come today. Come back a second time. Okay? And that is a reward in business. Okay, so and I was looking at that human being being rewarded by yes, a exactly. check. That's it. Unto himself to be able to do other things. And you know, so I was just looking at some of this and I was saying, well, uh, his story, so I said, confusing. But you needed to put every single one of them together and begin to see that somebody is telling you that there are characteristics that you must bring into a business, particularly when you are starting from nothing to be able to grow to something. That's uh, maybe what I see about the little bit of... Thank you, sir. Please, can you give it to him? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, you have said it a lot uh, more about uh, how uh, the economy has affected you. I don't want to go into that direction again, uh, but one would just honestly ask, do you think you are where you want to be, where you envision this business to be? you think you've gotten to that point? Definitely no. I'm very, very far away from where I should have been. You know, like I said, to run a business for 25 years is not 25 hours. It's not 25 days or months. And therefore, people who were born when you started this business, if they were ladies, they would have been married. Men will be ready to get married. And you are still there. And they are asking, so where is the office? You are like still crawling. So, I am not where I expected, where I projected I should be. But because we understand why we are where we are for now, we are looking up for a better future. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. In another 10 years, well, in another 10 years, I better tell you, um, yes, you've introduced me as a CEO of Media Monitoring Services Nigeria. The truth is that we are in three countries already. We are in Nigeria, we are in Ghana, we are in Cote d'Ivoire. Put your hands together. And what that says is that in another 10 years, or even before then, you'll be looking at a country, uh, um, organization that has a very, very serious stronghold on at least the West African sub-region in terms of data provision mm. for brands marketing. So you find that organizations 
that want to come into any of these countries will necessarily make a landing on the company to be able to be on a strong footing to even start at all. You know, that's where we are going. That's, <laughs> that's thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Uche Ali. But then, uh, let me just, uh, before we take another short break, uh, we will uh, ask what do you think government can do to help encourage entrepreneurs and, of course, this media monitoring? Well, the thing is that um, uh, the government, the first thing, everybody says it, provide the facilities. Uh, you probably will be listening to some generator running there. Do I have to have generator? Mm. I don't have to. Mm. In most countries, this takes run. Mm. Even my operation in some other countries uh, uh, in West Africa here, yeah, uh, there's a place where we don't own generator at all because electricity is there. 24 hours. We need that, we need that, and it needs to be done. Yes. That's one. The second is you don't make a single regulation for all kinds of companies. Okay. You must be able to separate the elephant from the rat. The rats. <laughs> and that is what it is. Otherwise, you crush one and the big one has nothing to eat. And that one dies eventually of hunger. That's basically the issue. But the government is not recognizing. If you see the way... Uh, uh, tax authorities, this and that, are rushing around small companies. You ask yourself, how much tax are they going to be getting from these small companies? Does he really pay their salaries? You understand what I'm yes. saying? So, you must have a policy that enables the small ones grow big, then you can go and say, you are big enough to answer your name, to be an adult. But you don't uh, stifle them while they are small. And you expect, I say, you are so old and you are still not an adult. How can you be an adult when you have made him perpetually uh, uh, immature? You know, that's, that's the thing the government should be looking at. It is not a matter of, oh, we have made out loans. What percentage interest are you paying on these loans? It doesn't make a meaning that you are giving me a loan that will kill me in no time. I can't pay, mm -hmm. and you come in here and you seal up everything mm -hmm. because I can't pay. It does not help. So there are other ways of motivating. So when I, I see all this, the government has done this, the banks have done this, it doesn't help small companies. There are many more things to do to get them going. And when they are on their strong footing, you can ask for anything from them, and you get it. That's the thing. A word for little beginners. This time around is giving it to the government. What about people who can't even, who, who don't have that resilience to, what, to, 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 to fight on? Which word can you? No, the thing is, <laughs> you know, like um, somebody said, you remain unemployed if you want to be unemployed. Yes. Everybody has something to do. Before this time, I was talking to a few, um, what do you call it, a few uh, young stars. Okay. And I said, even the women who are supposed to be full-time housewives have found themselves earning some money by selling recharge card. That's something. Okay? And I said to one of them in the village, look at all these uh, Okada people. You mean you can't organize them such that somebody says, I need an Okada to take me from A to B, and it's raining, and this is a village, how do I get to the square where they are all staying? That is half of the distance I'm going to trek before I take it. Can't you organize? Every single one of them has a, tariff, uh, 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 a handset such that they can reach out to this world and they come to their homes and pick them. You earn your money not spending anything. And you are employed. So, you know, these ideas are there. You are doing this. You say it's charity. If you want to convert it to somebody, something that means money, it begins to mint money. Okay? Okay? But you have chosen to give it so that others will fly with it. 
and I said to them, these musicians and so on, you know, when, um, what do you call it, the ringtones were raining. Musicians were making money from it. Why can't young boys do something, even make money from that? You are all IT uh, 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 enabled. You are not like us who are in the analog uh, generation. There is so much you can do for yourself without going into the Yahoo business. And you make money. It's just for you to sit back. But when you wake up every day and say, I have a degree, but uh, nobody has employed me and therefore I'm jobless, you remain jobless. This is the truth of the matter. You remain jobless. But you create something that nobody's thinking about. Not in this, uh, that one. You will fail. My dear, by the time you start earning the revenue you'll be earning from it, everybody will be struggling to come and compete with you. Unfortunately, that's what happens uh, with my brothers in the East. Once somebody makes a success, before you know it, the competition is in multiples. But we need it. Let them come in. It seems somebody has opened the door there. Competition will make us grow better, do better, and become bigger. And more people will have more food on their table than just one person having too much to eat and then 10 other people having nothing to eat. And then we have a problem. That's all. Wow, what else can be said? I'm short of words. But my beautiful audience, you could hear that coming. I think we take that break. And when we come back, we conclude this interaction. Put your hands together. Welcome back to the final segment of uh, this program with uh, our um, guest, uh, Mr. Uche, Uche Aligwe, the director, the CEO of uh, Media Monitoring Services Nigerian Limited. Please join me as we welcome him back for the conclusion of this program. Put your hands together, please. Okay. Um, sir, this is the last uh, part of this. Uh, interaction and it's been very wonderful with you uh, very informative very educative too and uh, this aspect is where we introduce our media box we call it a bnk media game we want it to sound like a game actually the the, the platform uses it to provide a uh, reach to someone somewhere to i mean to help someone bring out the smile in the very person and by so doing it could be in terms of a mentorship, empowerment, uh, motivation, I mean in any way you are inspired directly we will introduce you to our BNK Media Box because there are names of people that we have verified, we took our time to reach them, it wasn't just through phone call, we went to them and they uh, fear that we can you know, bring these people out and all of that. And God has been wonderful, very faithful, touching these people. So when we introduce you to BNK Media, there are names there. You just pick one person and they tell the audience room you pick and then we continue from there. I think you join me now. Put your hands together because when it, anytime I'm bringing BNK Media box, I am full of hope. I am full of thanks to God because he uses this to touch some people. Your hands your hands. All right, this is RBMK Media Box, as I will present it to our guest. So this is our media box. So um, drop in here, and then you will just uh, go ahead and open it and pick just one person to tell us Okay, no. Is this part of the box? <laughs> this is a box within a box. Okay, so I'm okay, not picking the box. Piece of, piece of paper. Okay, I'll pick this. Okay, sir. So let me return the box. No, let me return this one back. Okay, sir. Then you look at it and. Uh, okay, when you're ready, you're ready, sir. You can see the name. 
Yes. Okay, okay. go ahead and tell our viewers the name of the person you pick. The name here is Jacob Kassam. Oh, Jacob Kassam. That's a male, I suppose. Please, uh, thank you. Put your hands together. My name is Jacob. Okay, Mr. Jacob. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Jacob. Do you live here? Yes, I live in Branco. I live here. This is where I live. This is my house. This is where I live. Okay. Okay, this is where you live. Yes. And, uh, these, are, those are my product. I uh, produce all these things. Okay, you produce all these things? Yes, I produce all the shopping by conference and seminar by wallet boss. Mm -hmm. So I produce all these things. Wow, so but you, you, do you do all these things? Uh, where do you stay? Where do you do these things that you display? I don't have shop, so I, I do usually go out and manage with one of my friends that has shop somewhere. So if I have to go to him and manage a and uh, we'll do some of this in, in this shop. I manage with oh. somebody. I don't have shop and I don't have machine. So, uh, if I have anything, I go to them, my first shop and do those things. Yeah, I don't have a machine to produce, a industrial machine to produce all this in my back. So, I go to my friend that has shop and he has a machine there. So, I go there. And so that's where you stay to do. That's where that's where I stay to produce all these things. Uh, um, at least if I can uh, have any, I don't have money to buy all those uh, to buy the machine. Uh, the machine I produce all this. I don't have the money to to to, to buy all those things. So that's why. So if I, if I can see anybody who can assist me with the money to buy the industrial machine and. Get a shop. What, what do you mean by industrial machine? I, you know that, that how how does it look like? It's a sewing machine, right? Yeah, sewing machine, but all is used like throughout, and is, okay. all his body is uh, iron, iron. It's not uh, like domestic. It's industrial. And you know how to operate it? I know how to operate it. Did you did, did you learn this thing? I, I learned it. I learned it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, one year, two years or so, or what? Uh, I've been doing this in, uh, more than more than uh, ten years. Now. More than ten years, really? Yeah. So you produce all these things? Eh? Yes, I produce all these things. Eh? In in this place? Yes. Oh my God! Let's hear from our guest, sir. You will watch the clip. So, what is the story with Mr. Jacob from the video clip? Well, the story is a um, story of uh, status, as usual. He has an idea. He is translating that into some production. But because he doesn't have the facility, he remains small in terms of what he can produce. And because he's small, he can't put an effort into pushing it into the market. Okay, so that's it. So I had him asking for assistance if he can get the machines that will enable him do it faster, better, and therefore be able to produce more. I'm sure that when he gets a sewing machine, he will also need some funds to be able to acquire more materials to be able to produce those things. Then he's talking about getting a shop where yeah. he can operate from, he can sell from. Okay, that's one. Maybe, if you ask me, what is more important for him now is a machine to produce. Exactly. He doesn't need a shop to yes. sell. Because those because ones he produce them right from his house. Yes. He doesn't need a shop even where to sell. He, has, he just needs one or two samples. There are very many people sitting in different markets who are selling these things, who can come in and pick them up in numbers, even come with their own designs, and he will do it for them, and they will pack away. And so he doesn't run into going to canvas and sell and so on after that initial production. That's uh, the first. But you see, whether it's by charity or by some uh, partnership or by some investment, somebody has to be sure that providing that facility is not going to be 
putting some resources down the drains. Here's a lot. He's shown some diligence there, if he can be doing that on his own. He showed some resilience because I heard him saying that he's been on it for 10 years. Ten years. Okay, so that's, that's some resilience, that's some diligence. However, it will require somebody who is going to provide that to check whether if he now ups his production, he's able to dispose of them and then get back the money. Otherwise, you provide the machine, he starts on it, because you have built a relationship every other month, he comes back and says, ah, my picking, there's nothing to eat. Is there anything to give me? Nobody wants to get into that. No, no, no. Yes, anybody who gives this kind of assistance expects that you will be up and running. You understand? So those are some of the things he needs to convince anybody about. Look, this is the way it is. This is what I can do. This is my idea in terms of making money off it. And once he has that, there are maybe persons, if, the, if, if he's not looking for, um, because when he says industrial machine, you begin to get afraid that he's probably asking for the one that uh, the <laughs> those ones use. But you know, these are cottage machines that he requires be able to start and so if that is not much he can always get somebody who will assist in acquiring it one even government establishment some of the NGOs and so on once he has a good package it could be sold to some of them and they assist and uh, he gets that kind of thing but before they assist they want to be sure that it's not like let us start this assistance problem and continue with assistance. You understand what I mean? Uh, so that's uh, basically what that uh, calls for. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like I, like uh, BNK Media always uh, tell our uh, beneficiaries, and they know that this program is uh, an empowerment program. Um, we are concerned about uh, uh, where we meet our beneficiaries at what point and we partnership with uh, our guests in making sure that we um, you know alleviate or move the person from where on a benchmark to another level and that is just my concern so, so you con uh, call uh, is a, our tradition actually to give him a call if he, he is uh, accessible to that uh, number showing up on his mm. paper mm. and uh, we, we can take it off from there and uh, so you give you give him a call immediately and uh, and uh, with your phone so that he can uh, link up with you anytime anytime there are ways of advice and uh, no other thing Him and they tell him all that happened here on, on the program. 
in case he calls you uh, we pray that God uh, will inspire you the more uh, as someone that touched life which is uh, uh, known and uh, find a way to hear him out it could be words of encouragement it could be just to ensure that he actually needs help and uh, gets the direction okay where he should go and all of that that is what this program intends to achieve at this point in time so viewers we want to thank you uh, for being with us and uh, for those who are just uh, uh, watching us we've been on for the past one hour okay interacting with uh, mr uchenna Anigwe. okay so if you mix this interaction actually you need to uh, subscribe on our youtube channel on the red button open up to have a full video clip of this uh, conversation.